Hey guys! So today I'm going to be showing you how to wear a lace wig. I know a lot of you have been watching me for a while and you know that I love to wear lace wigs and I've talked about lace wigs before but I've never actually given you guys like a rundown of exactly how to lay it, how to make it look like it's coming out of your head, how to make it look absolutely flawless. Today I have a wig from a company that I've never tried before so we're gonna have a little fun with this. This is a lace wig by Best Lace Wigs and this is the box that it comes in and it is the GSWB7 16 inches it's a hundred percent human hair um, and it's a full lace wig meaning there is it's not a lace front it's a full lace wig so that means that the whole wig is lace and I'm going to show you guys exactly what that means um, it's 120% density, the, light, the lace is a light brown color, the cap is an 11 glueless full lace cap. Um, and I have all that information in the description box along with a coupon code if you guys want to check them out. Slide this off and in the box you get a wig cap. This one is a skin color wig cap. I use like the netted ones because then I can slide the combs in there if I don't have my hair braided which obviously my hair is too short to braid so yeah this might not work for me it's supposed to mimic african-american hair um, which it does look like blown out african-american hair so they did do a good job with that um, so it's this the kinky kinky straight wig I do have some friends who have asked me how do you wear them and how do you wear lace wigs and how do you make it look like your hair so this is for you guys so I'm actually not going to use the wig cap that came with the wig. I'm going to use a different one because I like netted wig caps. So I'm just going to put that on to protect my hair. Pull it back just a tiny bit so that my edges are out just a little. All right. Now that I have my wig cap on, I look bald. So I'm just going to put the wig on and this is a full lace. You see the inside of the wig is all mesh kind of lace material that means that each individual hair that is put onto this wig is attached to a netted cap so you can part it anywhere and you won't see any tracks you won't see anything just scalp like material it also has adjustable straps at the bottom so that it'll fit onto your head so before I'm going to adjust those I'm going to put the wig on to see how big it is and if it needs to be how much it needs to be adjusted so it is a little loose um that's how loose it is this is what the wig looks like out the box not cute there's no way you can wear this in public um the lace part is for you to you know if you're going to be gluing it to your head and you wanted a new hairline but i want to use my hairline because your natural hairline will make it look a lot more seamless and it'll look like your hair if you don't wear it right on your hairline. Um, some people like to wear the hairline for the with the wig, but I don't like to wear the wig hairline. I like to wear my own. So I just have my shears and I'm gonna cut off the lace off the whole front part of this wig. You want to be really careful. Cut as close as you can, but do not cut off any of the hair. Now you can adjust this to fit your own personal hairline because nobody's hairline is straight across. Um, but I just like to cut off all the lace and wear it behind my hairline because it's just so much easier to do that. So that's the lace. Now that I got that off, I'm gonna adjust the wig straps in the back and put the wig on. I always make the straps as tight as I possibly can. Like I put them on the last notch. I have a small head. And I didn't realize that I have a small head until I actually started wearing wigs. Okay. All right, so now we have our wig on. Now you want to make a part because you don't want to just leave the wig like this. There are many different ways you can do this. You can do this with water or you can use a flat iron. I'm going to use the flat iron method. Um, so basically I'm just putting it on to see where I want my part to be. I like side parts. I'm a side part gal. I'm going to do it on this side. I normally wear my, my part on this side because um, this part of my face always works with me. So I'm going to move all the hair. I love this hair so far. It's not tangling up or doing anything that I don't want it to do. And it's not really shedding that much either. I think I got maybe one hair since I combed through it. I'm going to do a deep side part. 
you just want to keep adjusting the whole key to this is to make sure that you adjust the wig to your liking and make it fit the way you want it to fit and look the way you want it to look if you do not do that it won't look like yours so you need to make sure that you customize the wig as much as you possibly can I'm gonna move the hair a little bit behind my hairline this is why I don't do this on camera you see how long this is taking me because I'm gonna pull some of my hair out in the front um, to make it match a little bit better I'm gonna move this part some it's a little too far over and I don't want the part to be a hundred percent straight because my real part wouldn't be 100% straight. Even if I made it, tried to make it straight, it wouldn't be. We're gonna move the part using a flat iron. And I have my little baby flat iron right here. This is my Babyliss Pro Nano. And I always use this, um, even if I'm flat ironing a lot of hair, because I just got used to using it. But if you have a normal flat iron, that'll work too. Just to get it a little more straight, because it's really kinky at the top. The kinks are more of like waves at the top. It's not really like super kinky, which is good. I didn't want it to be too kinky, but just flat ironing that out a little bit. And the flat ironing part will help it to lay down too, if you want your hair to lay completely like 100% flat. It depends on how the hair is. Like hair like this doesn't need to lay completely flat. My straighter hair, I want to lay flat, so I will flat iron the top as much as possible. But this wig doesn't need to do that because it's kinkier at the top. So I'm just taking the hair and I'm flat ironing it in the direction that I want it to go. I'm gonna part my real hair so that it matches the part of the, of the wig. I'm gonna take a little bit of my hair out just so it'll go with the hair of the wig. My part, my real part, is a lot wider. That's all that I would do to this wig, to be honest with you guys. Um, I really wouldn't do much more to it. Now, other wigs have different types of parts and things like that, so um, you may have to do a little more to it to make it look real, but this one is so natural, like the texture of the hair is so natural looking, you really can get away with just leaving it like this, honestly. Usually I stand up and do this process, so it's really hard for me to see in this little tiny mirror. I don't want to keep plucking hair out of the wig. I just don't like doing that. I, that's not me personally. I just don't like to pluck or pull a lot of hair out of the wig. Because most people's parts are not super skinny, so for you to match it up, it would be a lot better if you could, if you could get it to be wider. But for me, I just do not like doing that. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take some concealer and I'm going to put that on the part. You don't want it to be all in the hair. And kind of put it on your own part too to match. The colors aren't exactly the same. So that will help as well to kind of blend it in. It looks a little better, does it not? Another trick I've learned is to take some eyeliner to kind of make it match a little better on the sides to make the density match a little better. because my part is really sparse, so I try to fill that in a little bit. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys how I put my wigs on, um, just in case you had any questions about it. Depending on the type of wig, like I said, sometimes they need to lay a little flatter, so I will put it on my, my wig head, like this one, and kind of flatten it down. I use water sometimes to lay it flat. That helps too. 
or you can take the wig off and flat iron the part like right on the part to get the hair to lay down but like I said I don't want this one to lay too flat because then I feel like it wouldn't look like real fluffy hair you know yeah but I like it I love the texture it's very bouncy so yeah that's pretty much it um I hope that you guys like this tutorial if you have any questions let me know I just wanted to come give you a quick um demonstration of how I lay my lace wigs um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.